What's going on? It's your boy Jay Black, a.k.a. Black Man. First and foremost, shake my hand right now. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're smart. Roll your herbal essence. Get your spicy nacho Doritos. Get your popcorn. Pause the 2K. It's going to be there when you're done with this. Trust me. I got some stuff I want to say. I got some stuff that I want to talk about. It's going to be a long one. I've been sitting on this round waiting to get this. Hopefully you take rock with this. In the building versus pay-per-view. Is it important to be in the building? Are you watching pay-per-view? The judgments? Uh, how, how, what's the perception with it on battles? Even the history of it. Where did this stem from? So ho hopefully y'all don't think that the in the building versus out the building. People saying I'm in the building started this year. It didn't. Hopefully you don't think it started last year. It didn't. Even the year before that, it didn't. Let's get into the history first. I think that's the most important. Most important part. <clears throat> now, Jay Black, where did it stem from? And if I'm lying, I'm flying. And I'm going to be 100% honest with this one. This whole in the building versus I'm in the building and you're not in the building started with Angry Fan and Chris Unbiased. At Angry Fan, if I'm lying. Now, Angry Fan came out the gate. This is 2013, uh, or top of 2013. I think around that time, right, Caps? He's on fire. This guy is preaching the ghetto gospel. You know what I mean? And the thing about it, in terms of how you cover media, Chris and Caps is in the same lane. Me, I'm off into some other world. I do blogs once every, uh, once every, once a month, twice a month. These guys drop back to back every day, clearly competing. Clearly, you don't really like each other like that for some reason, you know? Competitive people. I'm doing just reviews and reactions. That's it. That's all I care about. I got to go to class. I don't care about nothing else that's happening in the battle rap world. You know what I mean? How much this guy's getting paid? Why didn't he do that? That's Chris and Caps. Like I said, Caps came out as a ghetto gospel preacher. Clearly on fire. I'm talking about the 87 Tyson. The garage. Goat Caps. <sighs> Lord. Lord. That Caps. That caps, yeah. Chris had to deal with that. Now, the one-up that Chris had, maybe a year after that, because the competition obviously went on for some period of time, even when they switched, they did two different groups, went on for some period of time. The one-up that Chris kept saying is, I'm in the building, you not. I guess at that particular time, Caps wasn't in the building. I don't know. You let him know, Caps. Uh, Chris was in the building. I remember, I remember vividly one time we was at this guerrilla warfare event, the first one, the crown. There, there we go. My memory's going good right now. We had the crown. He pulls up to me with this camera. Yeah, me and Jay Black, we the bloggers in the building. We, we be in the building. We the bloggers in the building. Yeah, it's us that be in the building. I'm like, who you coming at? And if I'm lying, I'm flying. The footage is probably something there, somewhere. If you can find it, good luck with that. You, but you'll know that I'm not lying. Uh, we the bloggers in the building. Clearly a shot at Caps. I turn my face to him like, I, I, I see what's going on here, going on here, but that's between y'all two. Cool. That's where the in the building versus you're not in the building started. Now, does being in the building make your opinion more credible? This is coming from a guy that's been in the building since grind time. I've been building for two, it's 2008. I've been at a grind time events. It's been that long for you, boy, I know. And I'm telling you, no. The person that's in the building, their, it, it, their uh, uh, pain on the battle is not more credible than a person that's watching it on pay-per-view. It's just common sense. And now, I'm saying this now because in 2017, all they do was pay-per-view. 75% of URL footage is on paper, was pay-per-viewed. It was streamed. King of the Dot has always done pay-per-view. Or even RBE, they're doing, they might do live, hopefully one time. They're doing video on demand. So if you don't watch it that night, you can watch it the next day and do your own recap. 
bullpen. They just did live. You dub, you saw us there, champion. They did live streaming. You know what I mean? So, 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 you can watch it multiple angles at home versus the guy in the building. Now, I've even said a lot of times, I'm in a building, I'm in a building, but that was in 2016, 2015 when you couldn't, you, you had to wait, you had to watch a recap to get someone's opinion that was in the building. And a lot of these events only hold, only held, what, 300 to 500 people, even Summer Madness. So a lot of guys that they were even doing media or blogging, it was like 10 of us, like 10 people. 10 people was there, so you can only go up to them. So, of course, my opinion is superior to the person that didn't even, wasn't even there to watch it, and there was no pay-per-view. So in 2016, being in the building was important. In 2015, 20, 2014, 2013, 2012, in any year that wasn't doing pay-per-view. But it seems like YouTube says, hey, go screw yourself. <laughs> We're not giving you anything. Your, your attitude in this battle rap world is too vulgar. We can't put a lot of advertisements on that. Nah, nah, go to pay-per-view where they pay you 35 per buy. Do that. Let me give you a prime example. I went to an NBA, I went to a few NBA games, and at least two times out of my, you know, career to go into NBA games, one time I had a really good seats. Is my opinion on that game more credible than yours? I have one angle. And I may have a person behind me yelling and screaming, bothering me, you know, throwing popcorn, maybe messing up my, my view. But you at home, you at home, you have multiple angles. You have commentary. You have all this stuff. You don't watch NBA. Cool. WWE. I had a few times I went to WWE. Right. One time in the nose bleeding. One time I was pretty close. Who has a better opinion on the match? You at home watching or me? One angle, everybody yelling beside me, they're influencing my opinion, but you have multiple angles, HD, everything, commentary, I don't. So who opinion is more valid? I'm asking. I'm breaking it down. I'm bringing the hammer down on this one. I'm saving you. I'm saving the new media money. And again, this has nothing to do with the new media. I'm breaking because I just broke down the history. It started with Chris and Caps. So it stems from Chris and Caps. Got nothing to do with the new guys. I'm saving y'all money. I think everyone should go to the event because they want to. You see what I'm saying? Go to the event because you're a fan. You really want to see some stuff. You really want to experience. You want to, you want to do a meet and greet with the battle rappers. Go to the event for those purposes. You don't got to go to the event to make your opinion credible at all. At all. Because you know what a lot of people do? They go to the event and they say, I got to watch one more time on cam. Right? Right? And a lot of times in the building, those crowd reactions influence a lot of people. Let's be honest. It influences a, it influences a lot of you guys. Oh, the crowd cheered for that guy more. He won. He won. And let's think about all the judges, all the judgments that's been happening in the building. Danny Myers versus Swave Seven. Well, Swave Seven won, right? The judges all picked, or for the most part, all picked Swave Seven. But you watch it on cam, and everyone says it's clearly to Danny Myers. So, do you respect those in the in the building judges? <sighs> King of the Dot just had a match: Head Ice versus Cortez. The in the building judges. Six of them, six of them voted in favor of Head Ice. In the building judges. But online, where it matters the most, because if your battle drops, it's going to do 200,000. It's 100 to 300 people in the building. So it matters most on cam. And again, let's segue to that. The term is, I got to watch it again. Or are you going to watch it again? You're not going to watch it again live. It already happened. You're going to watch it again where? On cam. Lux versus Arsenal. Oh, my goodness. Arsenal clearly won. It was a wash. He's done. Lux is done. It drops. Whoa, wait a minute. What happened? 
What happened? Uh, you mean, oh, you mean when the internet, when when the 500, excuse me, a million, this went to a million views, congratulations to Arsenal, Lord of Lux, they hit a million views in a short period of time, dope stuff. So you mean when a million people hit it, now it's now it's somewhat of a debate? Ah, oh, on cam, huh? Oh, because everyone breaks it down that fast in the building. They don't. I can go on this forever. Charlie Clips versus Lux. Clips clearly won. Where? In the building. Huh? I can do this all day. I can even take you back to grind time. John John and Don lost almost all his matches in the building. Watch them things right now. Watch them things right now. John John versus 30-30, huh? John John versus Pasta, huh? 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 All the judges, majority of them, in the building voted in favor of the other guys. <laughs> Again, go to the, in terms of in the building, go to these events because you generally want to be there. I just think in 2017, when all these events are pay-per-viewed, in the building doesn't hold that much weight. In terms of judging a battle, in terms of judging a battle. Now, in the building for behind the scenes stuff, oh, you got it. No one should be debating with you. I wasn't there. Uh, I remember uh, Hitman Holla and um, the situation between Hitman Holla, a STL versus Dark Side Park Life. How can you argue with somebody that was standing right there? So in that, that, that aspect, you say, I'm in the building. I saw what happened behind the scenes. You got it. You 100% know. If something with the contracts or someone no shows, you got it. You was there. You can talk to the league owner. You got it. But in terms of judging the battle, which my main focus is on, judging the battle. I'm more inclined to the pay-per-view. We can rewind it. We can play it back right then and there by the time you get home. By the time you didn't, by the time you get home to do what you do to talk about the battle, I didn't seen that thing three times. Who do you trust now? In the building versus pay per view. So moving into 2018, what does in the building mean? Put in the comments. What does in the building mean in 2018? See, that phrase had so much respect. It had so much respect, and we never really looked into a why. And again, going back to the top of this, it started with Chris and Caps. It started with Chris and Caps. It was a market employee, a market employee that was working. That's the one up that Chris had on Caps. It's your boy, Jay Black, A.K. Black Man. Shake my hand one last time. We didn't brought if the knowledge on this classic term in the building. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for reaching out. Sorry I had to make you sit here for however long this is, but it was some things that we had to speak about. Wait, I'm I'm not even done. First of all, let me let me just stop right there. Let me dig a little deeper. And say I don't respect judgment in the building for official decisions. Y'all gonna get hurt come January. The respect will be over here behind the champion name when it comes to any type of judgment of a battle. Cause the way y'all doing it. They was picking judges last minute, y'all. They was picking judges last minute, y'all. It was live on a pay-per-view. They was calling names. Ar 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 Arcane, you want to judge? That's how we doing it for official matches like this? Oh. Y'all was looking for Arcane to judge something? Oh. Now. <clears throat> oh, my bad. Averb versus Jims. That was another one. Even though, I, you know, I thought Jim, I thought the, actually, the judgment was actually right that time. I thought Jims got it. But it seems to me like the judgments are rushed. It's no way you can process everything. I sat down for three months. You're going to process that in what, in 30 seconds? At least give it a second watch. Why does the, why do these judgments got to be made right then and there? Just for what? For what? We know. 
if I can do this, I know, I know for damn sure y'all leaders can do this. Just record the battle and, and, and have the judges deliberate for 30 minutes. Have them watch the battle for 30 minutes and come back and, and then make the judgment. First of all, the, the, the final bout between uh, the, the main event, like I said, had ice and Cortez, it don't got to happen last. It does not have to happen last. First of all, if you believe in your card, the main event can be in the middle. If your card is that good, the main event can be in the middle. So I'm, what I'm saying is this. I'm using Head Ice versus Cortez as an example. Head Ice versus Cortez is going to happen as a fourth match. Okay? Let that be the fourth match. Their match is finished. And have the judges sit with the footage. Have them miss one battle. Okay. Have them miss the next battle. Sit with the footage. So that, this way the event runs smooth. You don't, no one's, we're not losing time. We're not waiting. Have the judges sit with that for 30 minutes. Watch it over. You're making a clear, concise decision. A clear, concise, precise decision in that short of a time. This is why. Shout out to Locksmith. He said, y'all y'all can't judge me. Grind time was completely judged. Back to back, back to back. Locksmith came and said, y'all can't judge me. A lot of Locksmith battles was promo. That wave of promo battles, that's when that happened. Y'all can't judge. I agree with him now. Y'all can't judge me. We got to incorporate the people that's at home watching too. Have a poll up. Why does a poll go up after the battle's done? Why does the poll go up after the battle? That doesn't make any sense. Why do you want my you want my decision after the decision's already made? What? I got y'all. 2018 is coming. You know, I'm working on some things. I got y'all. We got to put matters into our own hands. You got people like me. I'm gonna create something again, yet again. Giving y'all advance warning yet again that we we take control of this. You know, uh, uh, y'all, it's good that y'all had a decision. That's cute. But but here's our decision. Here's the, the, the people's decision. It's coming. Y'all play with us for too long on these judge battles since crime. I just said since crime time, y'all been having this foolishness type of judges. I'm not talking about the people, but but in the terms of how it's structured, there's no criteria. Uh, you know, don't you know it's a lot of times, you know why the champion wants to go last? Because that's the last thing on your mind. And, 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 and the judges, oh, he went last. He had the crowd rocking last. I'm more inclined to pick him. That sounds stupid. Sit down. They've been playing with us for years. And they judge in the same way, y'all. Don't, don't you? Uh, please, please. I know some of y'all are new. Even if you've been here for three years, that's still considered new. Even if you've been here for four years, it's probably still considered new. Go back to the grind time battles. Go back to the grind time battles and watch how they judge those. And fast forward to this to, to present day and how they judge that. It's the same way. Nothing has changed. Over 10 years and nothing has advanced? Are you kidding me? I got y'all. I got y'all. Let Tony Stark work. I'm building that Hulkbuster. <laughs> I, I, I'm building that Hulkbuster. You've been warned. You've been warned. You leagues have been warned. It's out of your hands now. Y'all want to throw battles? Throw the battles. But this judgment stuff is out of your hands. It's done. It, it's out of your hands now. It's out of your hands. It's out of your hands. I'm, I'm sorry. And nothing I can do now. I'm sorry. I'm calling the cops. It's out of your hands. It's out of your hands. It's not you. Shake, shake my hand. Shake my hand. No, no, it's out of your hands. You can't reach that. It's out of your hands. 2018. Uh, I already put money down yet again. I put money down yet again. So, so, so. It's coming. <laughs> it's nothing y'all can do about it. It's coming yet again. It's, it's coming. <laughs> we got it from here. The the, the fans. That's what I, I'm just a glorified fan. The fans got it from here. Y'all have until the end of the year. Probably March again. Probably March. We're going to take it from there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all for reaching out. Black. 
I be damn mama, they know who I am mama Still your little boy, tell them I'm the man mama Smile a bit, I shook a couple hands mama I'm getting there, I made a couple bands mama